Yo guys, what is up? It is Dave here, and you might be wondering, why am I looking at Nitro Nations in 2024? And why is this kind of a review video of Nitro Nation in 2024 when there's a new Nitro Nation game out? Well, I discovered something today in my infinite boredom of, I need a damn game to play. Here we are, 2024, Nitro Nation Drift and Drag. Now, you might be wondering, are you playing this on an Android emulator? Are you playing this on your phone and then we can just see the screen? No, you might notice that there are some things on the screen that you don't normally see when it comes to Nitro Nation. If you're playing it on your phone or an emulator. There's this little LT button. There's what looks like the B button on an Xbox controller. There's what looks like the A button on an Xbox controller here. That's right. This game is actually available to play right now through the Microsoft Store. I had no idea this was on here. I know CSR Racing used to be available through the Microsoft Store, and video coming on that soon enough. As you can see, CSR Racing is right here. But I ended up figuring out that you can actually play this game on Windows, and it's actually meant to be played on Windows. It's not running an Android emulator and trying to play it that way. Now, the one thing I'm going to say right off the bat, a minute and a half into this video, I give this a solid 6 out of 10. And I'm going to say something kind of crazy here that I don't know if people will agree with, but this 6 out of 10 drag racing experience on Windows is currently the best drag racing experience on Windows, on PC. Unless you're willing to buy like Assetto Corsa or something like that, and even then, I don't really like it in that. And um, if you want like a multiplayer experience, this is the best you're going to get. Everything I've tried to play on Steam is doo-doo. Uh, 1320 Challenge is very old and very finicky as far as what kind of computer hardware you are running the game on. And overall, even though this is just some hack job that they put up on the Microsoft Store, and I'll get into that, it's awful. This is still the best drag racing experience on Windows. Now, what are my biggest gripes when it comes to Nitro Nation? My biggest gripes when it comes to Nitro Nation is there's no way to spend your freaking money. I have 30,000 cash. There's virtually no way for me to spend this. If you are not spending real world money, spending your Nitro Nation coin or whatever they want to call it, your Nitro coin or whatever it's freaking called, if you're not spending this, which is the 114 I have over here in the top right, you can't really do anything with your cash. So let's say, let's look at the graphics real quick, because yes, this game is from 2015. It still holds up. It still looks really good. This is what I still consider, like, this is what I consider good. But if we go to customize... I have tried to apply whatever this is multiple times. Oh, it's some wheels. Oh, there we go. I could have done far more than that. So here's the thing. If I would have had that pulled up, you saw that it was the RT button if I wanted to use it. So right trigger on an Xbox controller. If I would have gone into a race out of this window, I would have been stuck. This game is very much just a hack job together. Let's put it together and throw it on the Microsoft Store real quick and maybe a thousand people will play it sort of ordeal. I really should paint this a different color, actually. Oh my god, that was this is awful. But it it doesn't it feels almost worse than playing it in an Android emulator, except for the fact it is completely smooth frame rate. Now, everything in this game as far as customizing, is pretty much Nitro coin. If I wanted to change these wheels to a different wheel, I'd have to go get, I'd have to spend Nitro coin on it, or whatever they call this currency. Everything in this game is centered around spending your real world money. You cannot, it's so hard to spend this 30,000 cash that I have. So difficult. Now, how did I even get to this amount? I've been playing this game for probably two and a half hours. Uh, just to give it a fair shot. As you can see with the career, I'm at stage three. Uh, I just got to stage three, and then I decided, you know what, I should make a proper review of this. If you go to the online tab, here's the really annoying thing about people that are still playing this game online. And I even wonder if this is cross-play, because there's only 42 people here. 
if this isn't crossplay, that means 42 other people are playing this on PC. I'll have to install the game to my phone and see if it even works uh, and see if that amount is the same next time I get the chance. But if this isn't cross-platform, they are supporting a game on PC with only 40-some players. And yet it's still alive, unlike the crew. <laughs> anyway, but if you do a live race with any other player, I'll show you something here. So it starts at 100 bucks. I have no control over if I want to raise this bet. It's up to the other person right now if they want to raise this above 200 I have yet to have anybody race me for more than 200 bucks in the game. Now, the other thing, too, is you would think, oh, it's an analog throttle when it comes to Xbox controllers. You might be able to, like, hold it at 60% and it's 60% rev. Nope, it's either on or off. Wow, that's the first race in a long time I've actually lost. That's cool. But, oh, let me show you another problem, too, of what I mean by this is just a hacked-together job. Um... Racing is fun. I think I still do believe that this is the best drag racing experience on PC currently. But let's see. Three, two, one. It is drop launch, just like Racing Rivals was or Rush Racing. I should not have shifted so early. I'm going to lose. Okay, I'm not going to lose this one. Now, let's say I wanted to use one of these emote things. You can't on a controller. 100%. You can't. Now, also. How many times is the B button pressed on this screen alone? Let's count them. More info is one. Replay is two. Upgrade is three. And lobby is four. If I hit the B button, it's going to randomly pick something here. There is no way for me to have it differentiate what I'm actually clicking. You have to use the mouse. You have to use the mouse if you're playing this on PC. There is no way around it. If I hit the B button on my controller right now, I don't know what it's going to hit. Okay, it brings me to the detail screen for like where I was shifting and all that, which I love this screen, by the way. This is something I really hope they have in uh, Auto Legends is something similar to this so I can like see... Okay, so this is where I used my nitrous and this is how I got my best run was stuff is something like this. I really hope this style screen exists in Auto Legends for tuning at least. And then like new record, you know, they have the detail screen right here, which is really nice. But if I hit the B button again, I have no way like yeah, I can move this white box around, but I can only move it between these three things. I can't move it to like more info or this. I have no way to click something else with controller only because it's such a rush together hack job of a game. If I want to go back to lobby, I have to use the mouse. But like, you know, it, it's it's still one of the best experiences of drag racing on PC. I really do think it is. I have yet to try to run this. Oh my. Oh, I gotta. I have to use this car. I didn't want to because it's not fast. That's okay. I'm probably going to switch to my Audi and do more online races with it, try to build up some uh, stuff with it. Oh, I can go car dealer. So car dealer is a way you can spend your money in this game. Um, but you can't really do much with it because you need a lot of money to buy anything. So realistically, you're still... Oh, wow, filters. That's kind of nice. So... This is one way you can spend your cash. So if I wanted to sit here for hours on end of nobody, you know, raising the stakes with online races, I could. And then I could finally buy one of these other cars. Yo, that's kind of sick. What is this? I've never seen this car before. The Volkswagen XL Sport? Nitro Nation out here with the badass cars. Oh, and this shows, like, if it's maxed out or not. Sick. Ah, uh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. That's pretty sick. That's another screen that I really like. I like how it shows kind of where it maxes out at and what it's best at. Based on maxed out stats, it's actually probably best at eighth mile and quarter mile. That's really cool. Where does it think 
RX-8 is best, because mine's pretty heavily modified. I'm about almost halfway there. Oh, it's a very well-rounded car. That's cool. But, yeah, the, it's... It is fun. I'm not going to knock it. It is fun. I've had fun the last couple hours playing this, and I might even live stream playing it. I am enjoying myself playing this game on PC 110%. I'm not going to lie about that. But that's just where the problem lies when it comes to... Oh, I had a tickle in my throat. But that's just where the problem lies as far as... You know, Windows computers. is This is kind of the best we have <laughs> as far as drag racing on PC. I This still feels like the best game we have for PC. I just don't really understand why there isn't something better. And this is the void that I hope Auto Legends can fill. Now, if they can learn anything from Nitro Nations for the PC-specific release, or even with mobile. I have already given uh, the devs some ideas, um, but I gave them a couple ideas in our Discord that I actually have the ability to contact them. I'll read you guys these ideas. Uh, be since they're my own ideas, I don't think it's really leaking anything. But these are my ideas of controller improvements that maybe this could, you know, be much better with. And even on mobile, if you Bluetooth your controllers to your phone or tablet, you know, XAB, you want to have X maybe for shift up, A for shifting down, because if you double shift, you might want to shift down to try to at least save yourself, and then B for nitrous if, you know, whatever. R, it being an analog button on, what is it, a good 80% of controllers that are out there these days, you can modulate a throttle with that. So if I hold my thumbstick at 60%, or not thumbstick, my R button at 60%, since it's analog, I would hope that it holds at like a certain RPM rev. You could make like a start button for the settings menu to pop up. You could do, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do as far as a controller support. And then the other thing that I kind of said was <clears throat> the things that I really like about this is admittedly the controller support. They shoehorned it into Nitro Nation, which is unfortunate. And it could have definitely benefited from being done a little bit better. Um, it feels gimmicky that they did it this way because of how unpolished it is for full controller support. But it's like I said, this is the best racing experience on Windows right now. As far as drag racing is concerned, in a drag racing based game. I haven't unlocked drift racing in this Nitro Nation yet. When I do, I'll make another video on how I feel about drift racing because I've never tried it in Nitro Nation. And like I said, maybe I'll stream this since, you know, I'm still looking for a job. I have a little bit of free time here and there. I'll still stream this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of Nitro Nation for Windows PCs. Give it a shot. If you have a Windows PC with the Microsoft Store, download it and give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think of the game and we'll go from there. But I hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed the video. I'm going to grind it out a little bit more before I go to bed. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll live stream it one of these days. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.